going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So as you guys all know, knee is messed up. If you guys had watched Lance's vlog while he was back in Jersey, he ended up having to go to urgent care because somehow, some way, somewhere, he ended up getting poison ivy. He was in Jersey when he got the poison ivy. I had just recently got back from a camping trip, but he was in Jersey when I got back. Somehow I also ended up getting poison ivy as well. I'm not too sure if you guys can see, but I got these spots on my arms. I got them on my waist. I'm very allergic to poison ivy, so just to add, you know, to the whole knee thing that's going on. Now I also got poison ivy on top of it. No idea where I got it from. I got my sheets and comforter, everything in the wash right now. And I don't know where Lance got his from either. So I basically feel like I need to just like disinfect and clean my entire apartment. All it takes is a pin drop size of the poison ivy oil. That's all it takes to start getting that rash. Gonna have to go through, clean everything. I need to hit up Walmart today and definitely get some calamine lotion. Last night I had a hard time trying to sleep because I was just so itchy. And then Lance and I are going to end up hanging out today because we really haven't been hanging out that much. He's had a ton of stuff going on with his apartment. I've had stuff going on with my leg. Jackson, you might need to go get groomed. We might need to get you and Harley groomed because I don't know if maybe you guys are the ones that are spreading the poison ivy everywhere. Jackson goes outside and Harley goes outside. They're on leashes. I don't let them go into the woods or anything like that. I don't think I would have gotten it from them. What were you doing? Were you getting your toy? You getting your toy? Daddy's got to go run some errands. I got to go run some errands. You're going to get me all furry. I literally Really just lint rolled. Also, in case you guys didn't know, you cannot spread poison ivy from person to person. It's not contagious like that. I came over and stopped in at this little pizza shop here to grab some lunch. It's super nice in here. Get like New York vibes. And after this, I need to hurry up, get back home, get the vlog uploaded, and then I need to run to Walmart. I'm gonna pick up some calamine lotion and whatever else I can to kind of help with like the itching of the poison ivy. So I already ended up getting an antipasto salad, which I destroyed. And then I got two slices of cheese pizza with some ranch. So obviously with me being from New York, you guys know I love my pizza. Finding a decent pizza spot or like decent pizza in Florida, very, very hard, very difficult. I'd probably give this pizza, I'd give this a nine out of 10. It's it's pretty good for Florida pizza. Like I said, there's no pizza like New York pizza, but this is New York style pizza. It's really good. This place is called a Tardis Pizza, New York style pizza, super good food. I had originally rated this pizza a nine, but you know what? I think I'm gonna give it a 9.5 just because the service was also amazing. The people were super nice in there. This isn't a brand deal either, cause you guys know, hashtag no free brand deals, but I feel like the service added that extra 0.5 onto there. So I had to come over to Walmart. I think I literally grabbed the slowest car possible. It says it's fully charged. This must not be the performance package. I gotta go get some calamine lotion for my poison ivy that's on my arm starting to spread hopefully this will help dry it up and i don't have to get put on prednisone because like i said the last time i was on that i ended up gaining a lot of weight Let's see rubbing alcohol thought i just crashed into something i don't know if that would be in like first aid or probably like allergies maybe so i just looked in the allergy section i do not see any calamine lotion so i think it's basically like anti-itch which you think would be allergies i'm gonna go back to the first aid section and see if maybe if it's over there all right i think i see it generally in like a pink bottle like this one over here so i think this is it oh sh almost crashed right into the thing probably gonna need a couple of these bad boys and then i also think i should get some cotton balls <laughs> there has got to be a weight limit on this thing because these wheels are making noises that i have never even heard before it sounds like i'm running over a duck cotton balls nope these are tampons so this is I need those two, but this isn't where I want to be. I swear I've gone up and down every single aisle trying to find cotton balls. Oh, I finally found them. Yes, let's go. All right, one of these should be enough. Uh, you know what, we'll get two. God, that sun is thooming right now. I've been waiting on Lance like all day for him to get his vlog up, for him to take a shower. Keep in mind, his apartment's 20 minutes away. And he's like, yo, leave and come over in like 20 minutes. And I was like, bro, it's gonna take me 20 minutes to get there. He's like, yeah, leave at 5.50. So it's like 5.40 right now. I don't know, I'm, I kinda wanna go fishing, but at the same time, tomorrow, my buddy Jaron, who I went on the camping trip with, his father-in-law is fixing up his pontoon boat and offered that if we were to help him a little bit with the pontoon boat tomorrow, he would take us out on war lake and bring us around drive us around you know while we do some fishing we can look forward to that i gotta charge up my gopros and everything tonight so that way those are ready for the trip bro this sun is actually ridiculous all right that's a little bit better now that it's blocking my eyes so i think i'm gonna head over to lance's i don't know if maybe i can find like a little quick fishing spot on the way to maybe do a couple casts if i can't catch anything real quick I'm, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do he's like yo uh julie and i gotta go shopping do you want to go to the mall bro 
I'm on crutches, one. Two, I don't know if malls have wheelchairs or like electric scooters like the one that I was just using in Walmart. I don't know, we'll figure it out when the time comes. Found a nice little pond to stop at on the way over to Lance's. Yeah, buddy. This one really smacked the top of the water for this one. I'll tell you, man, this white whopper plopper I've been using, I've been having some pretty good luck with it. Another nice little largemouth right before I head over to Lance's. Caught two largemouth in about 30 minutes, which is not bad at all. But I'm gonna save a lot of the fishing for tomorrow for when we go out on the boat. That's gonna be super fun super excited for that the place that we're going Jaron and I have actually tried fishing there off the shore and didn't have any luck and we just kept looking at all these spots on this lake like yo if we had a boat bro we'd be nailing them so it's nice that we'll finally be able to go out on a boat tomorrow and do a little bit of boat fishing I haven't gone fishing on a boat in probably probably eight or nine years the last time I went was with my parents but Lance just gave me a call wondering where I was at I got a little distracted you guys know how it is so we're heading over to his place right now I just got over to Lance's and as much as I should be using the crutches, at this point, I think I'm better off just trying to hobble on over here. Housekeeping! Housekeeping! I come to fluff your pillows? <laughs> Damn, what's for dinner? Grotisserie. Yo, it smells nice. hella good in here. It's not hot chicken. Mm. It's not like grotisserie, it's pretty much. It tastes exactly like grotisserie. You look like a crock pot. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, let's see. You look more like a crop than I do. <laughs> no, weird. I just look like I'm disabled. I parked in a handicapped spot. Who put these together? I did. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm surprised. Well, I'm actually a little nervous to sit in it. Let's see. The whole thing breaks. Yeah, let's hope not. Are these the same stools? Hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what? They're the bent ones? Yeah, so here's the thing. Julia was mistaken. I had to unwrap all of them. I unwrapped the two that came together, but they didn't put like. So they, they pretty much wrapped them wrong. So what is there, four of them? And these are two? Yeah, four legs total. Two on each. So wait, where's the crooked part? No, it wasn't crooked. It was, it was, crooked. It was supposed to be like that? When did you figure that out? When I opened up the other package <laughs> and realized that they just packaged them all together. Let me see. No, oh yeah, see, they, they curve right here into the middle. Yeah. Okay, that it's makes cool more sense. Too. Let me see what you got. It's a mess in that closet right <laughs> Bro, is this gonna be your gaming room? Yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna set everything else in up the in the closet. closet? Yeah. I just got some, uh, some stuff for the new PC setup that just came in today. Where's your desk? It's not here yet. Yeah, it's been here a couple of days. Oh, I thought you already got it. No, 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 no. Nice. Yeah, I'm just collecting in here until we get everything we need. Cool. And the PC should be here by the end of the month. When's the desk gonna be here? Uh, I think in like a week. We're gonna, it's an L-shaped desk. So, so you're gonna put it right there? Yeah, should be enough. Cool. Yeah, well, guest room looks good. Yeah. Here's the rug that I picked out when we were at Ikea. Yeah, it's looking good. It's actually looking like a, an apartment. Kind of reminds me of your apartment at the Camden. Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, I don't know, maybe it's like the furniture. I feel like your couch was pretty similar to this one, the one that like you had at the Camden. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice though. What's good? What's good with that TV stand though? Yeah, yeah, we're getting a new one, and we're gonna put that together. When's that gonna be here? Um, Monday. Monday? Yeah, I'm going out of town. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be gone for. I'm, I'm gonna be gone until you go back to Jersey. All right, so you might be on your own on that one. Always bust out the camera when your friends are gonna do something stupid, so that way if something happens, you get it on camera. Oh, this is not. Oh, oh, that's a stupid camera. Yeah, po point it right into my eyes. Thank you. Can you change the bulbs in that or no? No. No. I was gonna say you should put some of the hue lights in there. I see you got them in there. Also got them in the lamp over here. It's pretty good. It's pretty spread out, I guess. You should probably have one like pointing towards the hallway though, no? Well, you have three literally pointing like right here. Yeah, because this is like a dead zone. You get no service there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also currently talking to my buddy Nick. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was Formula Auto House when I lived in Vegas. Helped me do a lot of work on the BMW. We're in the process of figuring out roughly how much it's gonna cost to do like an airbag suspension setup on my Tesla. Getting the tank, the air tank, as well as like the struts. I think we're gonna end up going with like a 3P. Nothing too crazy. Right now we're kind of gonna be looking at like $3,500, which actually isn't too bad. I'm also looking at getting the car wrapped and getting some new as well so some exciting things coming for the Tesla soon I guess Lance's mattress finally came in did you sleep in it last night yeah oh nice yeah it looks good wow so much stuff in this room <laughs> what to do let's watch some TV look at this amount of turkey vultures right here they're just like sunning in the road like we don't have any cars coming by come on get out of here dirty birds 
dirty, dirty birds. Yeah, look at all you guys. You guys are gross. Good morning, everyone. So I just got over to Jig's Landing right now. I'm waiting for Jaron and his father-in-law to get here. I think Jackson slobbered on my camera again. So let me get that real quick. Gonna be going out on his boat today, doing a little bit of fishing. So super, super excited for that. I think they're on their way here right now. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime, I'm gonna head over to the water. Gonna do a little bit of fishing. Hopefully we have some fun today. Hopefully we catch some stuff as well. So we went out fishing on the boat today. Unfortunately, didn't have any luck, but it definitely does beat sitting at home. It was good to get out, get on the water. I think the only thing that I probably caught today was a uh, pretty decent sunburn. Not too sure if you guys can see. I think I got a little too much sun today. Didn't bring any sunblock. I forgot. Normally I bring it when I go out fishing. Definitely a fun day, man. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted right now. I smell like a bag of Funyuns. I, I actually smell like sh I'm gonna head home right now. I'm gonna hop in the shower, get all cleaned up. Lance and Julia are at the gym, and then I think we're gonna go to Texas Roadhouse tonight, grab some food. All I had today was a little bag of Cheetos, just a little snack, that's all I had. Drank a bunch of water, stayed hydrated, had a power raid, replenished my electrolytes. Honestly, I really don't know where I'm going right now, so hopefully I can make it home. I could just GPS it, but I think this is the way that I came. We're gonna find out. It sucks, man. Sucks that we didn't catch anything today. You know, that that's the name of the game. Sometimes you go out sometimes you catch a bunch sometimes you go out and you don't catch anything I have put this off for an entire week my knee after about the third day it started feeling a little bit better but since then it hasn't progressed at all so it's been a full week since I've injured my knee I'm gonna have to bite the bullet I'm headed off to the orthopedic doctor's office right now I have an appointment at 10 30 I'm gonna get my knee looked at see you know what it is that's going on so just the visit just for me to go there because i don't have health insurance is 250 dollars. so it can go up from there she's like oh if we need to do x-rays mris if we need to put a cast on it i'm actually kind of excited but kind of nervous excited to hopefully get my knee fixed but not so excited because you know i might have to get surgery i don't want to think the worst i'm hoping for the best i'm hoping maybe it's just a sprain i think i'm asking for a little too much there i need to clean off my camera lens and speaking of cleaning i have some cleaning people coming to clean my apartment today because i am not very mobile at this current moment in time i just got an actual x-ray done of my knee have no idea what i'm looking at over there but waiting for the doctor to come in to see what they say he just looked at the x-rays nothing is broken he was trying to do like a physical exam on my knee i'm in a lot of pain so what he's gonna do i guess i'm gonna get a shot probably of like cortisone said it'll help with the pain it'll help with the inflammation and then might have to get an mri done but we're gonna see how i do with this shot and how my knee feels i ended up getting a shot of cortisone in my knee didn't hurt too bad he sprayed it with uh ethyl chloride which i guess is like some sort of like numbing agent before they did the shot so it wasn't too bad the only thing is is the relief is not going to be immediate it can take you know 24 to 72 hours for it to kind of start helping with the pain but he's going to give me some like cream to rub on there he said to use heat more than ice which i've only been using ice but he said the heat will help with the stiffness and then just continue taking my ibuprofen he said you know see how it feels i might not have to get an mri but if you know this doesn't help then i'm probably going to have to do that he said he's also going to give me some at home exercises to do to try helping out with my knee. Some other good news is my appointment was not as much as I thought it was going to be. I got some cleaning people coming over today to clean the apartment as I had mentioned earlier. They're going to be there pretty soon so I'm going to head home and then I think I'm probably going to end up trying to do some fishing today depending on how my knee feels. Gassy as f today but i'm hoping this cortisone kicks in a little bit sooner than 24 hours i'm like out of breath man just limping around and you know using crutches it it, it takes a lot of energy out of you it's a lot harder than just walking so we'll see how i feel in a little bit hopefully i feel good enough to go do some fishing hopefully we can catch something today i swear every other day the gates at my apartment complex are just broken whether it's this gate or the other one one of them's always broken i don't feel like that shot that i've gotten has kicked in just yet my knee definitely does feel different since I got it. They did put like a lot of fluid in there. It was a shot. It was probably about this big around and there was like this much fluid in there. So I feel like that fluid is just built up in my knee right now. My camera battery is about to die. So I got to throw this on the charger, but the cleaning people just got to my apartment. They're going to clean that up. I'm going to go run some errands. I'm actually going to head over to the post office today. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos saying you would like me to set up a PO box again. I'm going to head off to the post office and get a PO box set up today for you guys. So we just 
just got a P.O. box. I'm going to throw that up on the screen. It's going to be in the description as well. It's P.O. box 21319, Bradenton, Florida, 34204. So that's the P.O. box. Like I said, I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere, and it'll also be in the description. It's probably been about three or four years since I've had a P.O. box, so I, I can only imagine the stuff that you guys are going to send me. Last time I had a P.O. box, I used to just get a bunch of dildos and just a bunch of other crazy you guys are hilarious. I love you guys. Me and the trees have not been getting along too well lately. I've been losing quite a bit of lures. You know, I got a bad knee, so when I go to cast, you know, it doesn't always go where I would like it to. So I think we're going to head off to Dick's right now. I need to replenish some of my supply that I've lost over the, you know, past couple weeks. I think we're definitely going to go do some fishing today. First thing I need to get is some more fire and ice, unfortunately. I think they're sold out, which kind of sucks. Those are what I have the best look on so maybe we'll switch it up try something a little different ended up just grabbing some more worms a couple whopper ploppers some hooks had to get some weights trying to see if there's anything else that i should grab but i think i'm good so i totally forgot that i had my gopro with me i do only have one battery with me but i figured i'd throw it on this is the spot if you guys remember over on that side i told you guys i had lost a monster over in that corner i gave this about a week and a half to two weeks to calm down let the fish forget that i tried catching it and then now i'm back here again for my redemption see if maybe we can get a little lucky See if we can't catch any bass today. Kind of just going to be hobbling around a little bit. So if the camera looks shaky, I do apologize for that. You know what I did forget though was my sunblock. That's something that I definitely forgot to grab. And my sunburn is actually just healed up. Got a Texas rig on right now. Fire and ice on here. See if we can get a little lucky. Kind of got to pee really bad, actually. I just scared a little something right there. Probably like a carp. I ended up taking my other reel apart that I had as well last night and was able to fix that and get that all put back together. I didn't bring it with me because I didn't really know if I was going to do some fishing today. But I'm like, you know what? People are cleaning the house. I don't really want to sit there. I don't want to be in their way. And it's a beautiful day out. So I was like, yeah, let's go do a little bit of fishing. I got to pee so bad. I'm probably going to have to walk over into the woods over there and take a leak before we do anything else. Oh, I took a nice little pee break. And we're back, baby. We went out on the boat the other day, didn't catch anything, but had a really good time. I'm really just here for that big boy that I lost. Ooh, nice little bass just came up and hit right on the side here. Make my way over to that end over there where that culvert is. Man, these hills right here are killer on my knee. Probably good that I get up, move around. I have been laying in bed quite a bit, trying to rest my knee. Ooh, just had a little hit right there. Bass are jumping over there in those weeds. That's where I need to be at. You guys probably will hear me out of breath a little bit too. Not just because of my knee, but also because I'm fat. God, I thought the water at the other pond was low. This one, oh my goodness. This is probably about two feet lower than it normally is. I think we're gonna switch up from the Texas rig. I'm looking for a little bit of top water action today. So we're gonna throw on one of these new whopper ploppers that I got. God, the water is so low. I've never seen the water this low, but it really has not been raining here in Florida at all. These whopper ploppers, man, I love these things. If you guys love top water fishing, man, I've had a lot of luck with these. Oh, it looks like a bass literally just hit over on the side of the water there. Nice. It's a good sign. Good sign. Oh, there ain't much room for the bass to go, I'll tell you that much. That is a gator right there, I believe. Less spots for the fish to go, but now I'm wondering if they're going to be less active. I just listen to how satisfying that sound is. Ooh, I just had a hit. I think I got a bunch of seaweed on the back here as well. Definitely just had a nice little hit right over in that back corner. He came up, but he just missed it. Operation Retrieve Whopper Plopper completed. These batteries and these GoPros just die so quick. Generally, when the water is low, don't really have too much luck fishing. I feel like every time I pick up my camera, I have just woken up. That's why my hair is looking a little bit crazy right now. No luck fishing yesterday. I, I really think the water is just too low. I'm literally looking at the pond outside behind my apartment right now. There's like no 
no water in it. We could really, really use some rain down here in Florida. Update on the knee. It's been about 24 hours since I've gotten the cortisone shot. And believe it or not, it does not feel 100% better, but I am able to kind of sort of walk on it. I need to start doing the at-home rehabilitation, doing stretches, stuff like that to help out the knee. Probably gonna throw the heating pad on it while I finish getting this vlog edited and uploaded. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, we're trying to hit 600K subscribers by the end of the year over here on this channel. So if you guys could, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment, turn notifications on so you guys never miss a new video when I post. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.